The round robin for the WTA Finals is about to close itself out and a big chance here for Iga Fiontech to advance on to the semifinals. There's a lot in play here. This is what makes the round robin stuff very interesting. For Iga Fiontech, the big thing here, get the win against Jessica Pagula, take care of business, probably your best chance of advancing on. Obviously, we know that Barbora Kurochikova is out there still. She's going to have to play Coco Goff. There's so many moving parts with this round robin format that we don't know how it's going to play itself out uh, without having a crystal ball to tell us the answer ahead of time. The big thing, though, for Fiontech, take care of business against Jessica Bagula. Again, probably your best chance of moving forward if you're on the side of Team Fiontech. But the big thing why I'm making this video here, guys, is because I'm a little worried for Iga Fiontech. I, I don't even really feel confidently with this matchup against Bagula. And even if she gets the job done in advance, she has to face Sabalenka. That's all an uphill battle because we just have not seen Fiontech look very good in this year's WTA Finals. And that's my big question with her when we were coming into this tournament was, we didn't see her since the U.S. Open. Was there going to be any bit of rust there? Of course, working with the new coach now, maybe some kinks you got to work out. This isn't necessarily the best tournament. You're the final eight players in the world to be doing that sort of stuff. And again, we, we didn't know how it was going to look and now we're seeing it and it's been rough. Obviously, did not look very good in that opening matchup against Barbora Kurchikova. Obviously, you guys know, being down the first set, losing 3-0 in that second set, Shiantek was able to dig down deep, win that second set, look very good for most of the third set. Kind of had a hard time closing out just a tidbit there, but still, nonetheless, uh, found a groove a little bit. But now, this last matchup against Coco Goff, that was rough to watch if you were somebody rooting for Iga Shiantek. What, 47 unforced errors? That's very rare to see from Iga Fiontech. We're just not seeing, you know, the, the things that we're used to seeing out of Iga in this tournament. And it, it just, it's very concerning. Now you're going against Jessica Pagula, and Pagula just beat Fiontech at the U.S. Open where she dominated her. And you guys, you kind of see what you saw a little bit with, with Coco Goff. They're playing with pace, pressuring Iga a little bit, keeping her back along that baseline. Pagula has the game to do all of that stuff there. And Pagula, who's eliminated, will not be able to advance on to the semifinals, has a great chance to play spoiler here and really make a statement beating somebody like Sviantec here in the WTA finals. And she has the game to do so. So I'm definitely on the side of concern for Iga Sviantec. The good thing here is Pagula has not been playing super well since that U.S. Open, struggling here in the WTA finals. So a good chance here for Iga Sviantec. And again, I'm going to predict that Sviantec does beat Pagula just because of you know, we're seeing Pagula not playing the best, but nonetheless, victory or not, things are a little concerning right now for Iga Sviantec. For Sviantec, really this big picture is going to be just working with this new coach, getting a couple things figured out, working out some kinks as you head towards 2025. And obviously the other big news with Iga Sviantec too, she would not be able to catch Irina Sabalenka for that world number one ranking. That news, of course, came out after Shiantic lost to Coco Goff. She would not be able to catch Sabalenka. Sabalenka is going to end 2024 as your world number one, start 2025 as the world number one. But still, obviously, a lot to build on for Shiantic. She's not dead yet. She's still in the mix of things here. And she could flip it around real quick, guys. We've seen Shiantic do that. But still, right now, you have to be slightly concerned if you're on the side of Team Shiantic. Shiantic.